Hello YouTube and welcome back in Flight Sim. Today we are back in DCS World and we're going to take a look at adding a radio transmission uh, to any scenario that you have created. So let's go ahead and jump into the mission editor. Uh, let's just go ahead down here to Nellis. So let's just put ourselves on the ground. So let's just jump in the F-18, my favorite aircraft in DCS. And let's ensure that we are selected to use it here, which we are. So, for a radio transmission, we need a few things to happen. So, we need a trigger area. So, let's just go ahead and plonk it here. Doesn't need to be that big. And let's just call it Nellis uh, Radio. Just for the purpose of this, you can name it anything you like. Um, and that's that. Next, we'll be looking at the triggers. So, what we want to do is... Uh, oh, we're done here. There you go. So, radio transmission. So let's give it a name. So radio transmission. We don't need any conditions at this stage. If we just wanted to play, you can link it to any condition you like um, in order to do it. But for the purpose of this video, there's no need. So, the actions is we want to go down here and go to uh, radio transmission. This so way you can uh, add a file, uh, an audio file, to the mission and um, when you are tuned into the radio you can um, hear this transmission. So, I have one that I uh, downloaded from somewhere, it's, uh, I think it's a, a radio centre near Luke Air Force Base. Um, so, if we play it... It's just something that I can have on in the background, wasn't flying, and it just makes it feel a little bit more realistic. Although they, it has no effect on the actual mission, it's just something to listen to and it gives it a bit more of a realistic feel. Obviously it can be any sort of audio file you want. Um, so say, for example, if it's a, a combat scenario, if an aircraft gets, if an aircraft crashes, you can add a file and at a certain point it will play. So the zone that we want, the signal, or the radio or the transmission to come from so Nellis radio is what we want we can have our modulation of fm or am fm we can then just choose if we want the audio item to loop so as you can see this audio file lasts for 32 minutes and one second if we want it to loop once it hits that point it'll start again so turn that on uh, the frequency in which we want to listen we want to be able to tune into to, in order to hear it so one two uh, one two four uh, the power in watts is 100, and then the name of it, so Nellis Radio. And then if we want it to uh, be delayed, a start delay for it. So in the, for this case, I don't, um, but you can do if you wish. So now that's done, let's go ahead and jump into the mission and see if it worked. So here we are on the ramp at Nellis. So if you can remember rightly, our frequency was 124. So let's just go ahead and change our radio options to manual. 124000. And there we have the radio transmission that we've put in. As I said, it can be anything you wish and you can use conditions to link it to any kind of option. Um, this is just a quick and easy way to show you what can be done and how easy it can be. Hope you found this interesting and useful. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comments below and I'll try my best to help you there. And as always, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.